Okay, now we've seen it. It's like, uh, eh, ah, ah. What is going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Ninja Review. Did you know we've been doing Ninja Review, or at least a version of it, since 2011? Man, that's crazy. What are we reviewing today? A world of shit by Bust Crew. I don't know anything about this, but I do know it was very hard for me to find a thumbnail. So let's rewind to the middle. By the way, a link to this video will be in the description below so you guys can watch it on your own time. I'm not expecting much because as I skimmed through looking for thumbnails, I did not see that many impressive tricks. And look at this. I just clicked a random spot in the video and this is what we get some little kid afraid to drop in and uh, just a bunch of chatter and laughter and that was the whole trick so I wasted what 20 seconds of my life watching that so that's I always say start your videos with a bang this is what I'm going to expect for the rest of the video we get a two inch tall nose slide you know what this we got to get through this that's Nothing. We're going to get nothing from that. We already know there's not going to be anything impressive happening. We got Post Malone push twice. Yeah, yeah. He's back 180 down. Nicely done. We got the lip slide on the abandoned building. Wow, what a great spot to, to get these tricks back. Over crook on the ledge. Don't see that very much anymore. What a weird feminine stance on the backside flip. Let's look at that one again. Let's look at that. Let's look at that one again. Can I rewind? Well, <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> uh, what do we got? A big hockey rink or some type of arena? Front board to fakes. This guy sacking his balls and then laying there. Feeble on the ledge. We got uh, what? All of his. <laughs> we got all his computer stats. A horrible kickflip 5 0. He was really struggling on that. Maybe this is like the old guy on the team or the filmer or something. Can we watch that again? Barely made that one work. Wacky inflatable arms. Hard flip nicely done. Love to see that. So it says bust crew. Maybe it's just a crew. Is this guy drunk? What was that about? That's the uh, being sober equivalent to uh, <laughs> to this video. Okay, where are we going with that? Front blunt over. It's bust crew, so maybe it's just a crew of skaters, right? Maybe this is just a bunch of guys that get together on Sundays and skate casually. I'd, I'd be hard-pressed to imagine... This is a team where anyone's a professional skater getting paid. Kickflip manual, wacky arms dropping in through the stairs. That doesn't mean the video can't be entertaining though, okay? When I review a video like the regular numbered ninja reviews where it's just like kids making sponsor tapes, we try to judge the video based on what it actually is. There we go, some things blowing in the wind, a plane. Oh, this is right up there with the uh, spinning bird video. What is it with skaters and trying to avoid having skateboarding tricks? Why do skateboarders hate including skateboarding in their skate videos? Is it because they can't let the skating do the talking? Well, Jesus, man. Okay, this, is, this goes on for multiple minutes. I get it. No one on your skate team is good, so make an airplane video. I get it. But you don't have to be good to still have fun, right? Isn't that what you guys say? As long as you're skateboarding and having fun and you're still doing it, then why planes? Okay, we got a guy skating a curb dressed as David Blaine. Feminine stance, love to see it. Push to eyes. That was pretty good. Okay, gap to nose side popping out, nicely done. The fit here is great. If you're like a malnourished magician. Tail slide. <laughs> Kickflip no slide, okay. Really heavy on the on the toes. Maybe that's what makes a lot of skating look feminine. They're really heavy on the toes like ballerinas. And there's also a lot of like like weird wrist movements. Maybe I can maybe I can show you guys later in the video. Nice board slide here. That was the best thumbnail I could find because it had a nice bright, like bright background. A lot of the times you get these skaters that do a lot of the, uh, the Midwest urban shit or New York skating, and everything in the background is gray. You know, the street's gray, the curb's gray, the building's gray, the skateboard's gray, everyone walking by is gray. So it's hard for the skater to stand out, which is probably why they film a lot at night. All right, we get a little flat ground ollie there, trick of the year. In fact, a little switch one to go with it. <laughs> this guy looks very nervous right there. Ollie, does a little high ollie, a no slide. I am, I, just, I guess I'm just confused that this is the last part 
of the video. The last part should be the best part in most cases. Either the first part's really good or the last part's really good. And if this is the last part, then I'm kind of happy that I skipped the first part. Switch grind right there. I will say I'm excited about the, the rapid fire tricks. Guy did his first flag round switch backside flip. Nicely done. Board side to fakes. Right there. Okay, remember the remember the limp wristed thing I was talking about right there? Okay, now we've seen it. It's like, uh, yeah, ah, ah. All right, front board across and down. Love to see it. He's got the dress code. Okay, if he dressed any other way, he'd probably be kicked off the squad. That is one of the last remaining rules in skating. Rule number one, you must have fun. Rule number two, you must wear this type of pants. Otherwise, you're not actually skateboarding. And you also need spinning birds and bullshit in your video. Nice, nolly front side flip there, rolling in switch. Gets out of there alive. I will say that I'm not exactly tempted to turn the video off, but every trick is sort of like me wanting to fast forward. I want to see where's the good stuff at. So we get the nose slide, nolly flip, rolling down switch. Uh, I do appreciate he did that switch a second ago. Curving around here with the front board. Over the, uh, the the grass, over the mulch, and I guess that's it. Maybe it was cold that day. He's got the gloves on. Wouldn't want to scrape your little hand. Then you'd have to go home and get some Neosporin, some aloe vera, and that was that was it. I don't know what they were going for, okay? I get it. This is not my cup of tea. This type of video is not really made for my, like, generation anyways. This is made for the crowd of people that recite over and over again that skateboarding is art. Skateboarding is art. I get it because if this guy tried to join any type of like sporting activity Related to skateboarding he'd be in last place and I don't say that to make a joke I'm saying put this guy in a skate contest and see how he does It's gonna be last and you guys are gonna say well not everything's about skate contests sure you're right. Maybe the way I look at skateboarding to where every day I wanted to get better than the day before maybe that's how I look at it because being good at skateboarding and then coming up in the community say wow i spent way more time doing this and trying to progress you guys sat on the ground talking about art playing on your phones you can't skate switch sure you can consider yourself on that page but again it always goes back to the contest you put yourself in a contest you find out how you fare against everyone else and i know that's what artists hate they never want to be compared to anyone else that's why they need everything to be subjective. <laughs> okay, I've gone on quite a rant here. It's probably not this video's fault. You guys can tell me. The link to this video will be in the description below. Do you guys think I'm being overly critical? I just watched a Red Bull contest, right? On the beach, and I feel like it was more entertaining than this video. Then again, clearly I'm super biased. And I've been spending way too much time on my new Instagram, Steve Hates Skating. Maybe I'm being too negative. You know what? I feel like I probably am. So maybe I'm just having a bad day on the review. The good thing about that is we upload five videos every single week here on Ninja Lifestyle. So if this video wasn't good, if you guys didn't like my commentary, don't worry. I will be uploading another video tomorrow. I hope you guys are having a great week. Make sure to subscribe. If you're not subscribed, and leave your thoughts in a comment below. I don't know. Video was out of 10. We only watched half of it. Eh, this was a 6 out of 10. Let me know your thoughts. Kuna Matata. In the arms.